Next we're going to do um, postural assessment uh, with using the, uh, the plumb line which is we have attached to the ceiling and there's a weight done at the bottom of it. And as we look at this, the first view that we're going to, we want to make sure that the, the victim is um, dressed in shorts or t-shirt or if it's a male maybe with their shirt off so you can see more anatomical uh, landmarks a little bit better. Uh, we do want to make sure that uh, um, if possible shoes and, shoes and socks are off um, and then the hand placement is kind of a, it's not anatomical position but it's just kind of a relaxing position with the hands and forearms in a pronated position. Okay. Um, when we align the, the plumb line we want to make sure that it, um, for the anterior view, we want to make sure that the, with the lower extremity, the, uh, the feet are evenly spaced between the plumb line, the tibia crest are slightly um, externally rotated, the knees are evenly spaced between the plumb line, the patella here are uh, facing anteriorly, um, consistent with angulations from the joint to joint. Uh, we also want to make sure that the lateral malleoli, the fibular head, and the iliac crest should all be uh, equal bilaterally. As we look at the torso, we want to, um, again, we're, we're looking for any abnormalities or, or anything that's uh, normal or abnormal on both left and right. Uh, on the torso, what we want to do is we want to look at the umbilicus. Um, the, the plumb line should, um, should bisect, uh, although surgical procedures may, may um, alter this, uh, this alignment. Uh, the, the sternum sternum should be um, bisected by the, the plumb line, and the jugular knot should also be um, divided by the, by the plumb line. Uh, in the shoulder, up in the shoulder, what we're looking at are the acromion uh, processes and uh, which should be evenly spaced from the plumb line. The shoulder height should be equal uh, or the dominant side might be slightly uh, lower so you want to make sure that you want to ask the patient which is their uh, dominant side. And then uh, the uh, deltoid, the anterior crest, muscular shirt uh, should be uh, bilaterally uh, symmetrical um, and defined on, on both sides. Uh, as we go up to the uh, head and neck region, we want to make sure that the head is bi bisect uh, uh, equally by the plumb line, looking at the nasal bridge equally, as well as the facial bones um, should all be uh, equally separated by the plumb line. Um, and that's it for the uh, anterior view. Next we're going to have the patient uh, turn to her side Again, either side, it doesn't matter. And again, you want to try to make sure um, that the plumb line uh, is in alignment with the lower extremity. The lateral malleola should be slightly posterior. Again, um, if, if she needs to make that adjustment. Um, you're looking at the tibia, uh, which should be parallel to the plumb line, and the foot should be at about 90 degrees uh, from, the t from the tibia. Uh, the lateral femoral condyle should be slightly anterior um, to the plumb line and then the greater trochanter should be bisected um, in half um, by the plumb line. Uh, looking at the, to at the torso, uh, the mid thoracic region the should be bisected equally. Then going up to the shoulders, uh, the, anterior, the uh, chromium process again should be um, bisected equally. And then lastly, up to the head, the cervical bodies um, here on the, the neck here should be bisected uh, equally on both sides. Uh, and then the auditory uh, meatus um, should also be uh, bisected by the uh, plumb line. And then we're going to have the patient uh, turn posteriorly to the plumb line. Again, you, you want to make sure that it is in line, uh, come towards me just a little bit. A little bit, a little bit more. There you go. That looks good. Okay. Uh, with this one, the lower extremities down here, um, 
looking at the alignment, the feet should be evenly spaced from the plumb line. Uh, the, the, the feet and slight lateral rotation, uh, two lateral toes are visible. Uh, the knee should be equally spaced between the plumb line. And lastly, in the lower extremity, it could be um, from joint to joint should be consistent um, angulations. Uh, looking up at the torso, uh, the median sacral crest should be bisected equally by the plumb line. Um, and then the uh, spinous processes should all be um, bisected equally uh, by the plumb line. And then the uh, paraspinous musculature um, on both sides of the plumb line should also be equal. Again, this would be a lot easier if we had uh, the patient um, with um, uh, maybe a sports bra if it's a woman or if uh, uh, no shirt for males. Um, and then uh, moving up to the shoulder region, uh, the, the scapular border should be equal on both sides. And then the, again, looking at the uh, chromium process, uh, uh, should be equally spaced by the plumb line. Uh, then moving down to the uh, deltoid posteriorly, uh, looking for the muscular should be symmetrical on both sides. And then the shoulder height should be equal on both sides. Again, the dominant side uh, might, should be a little slightly lower. And then lastly, looking at the head and neck, the cervical spinous processes should be in line, uh, bisected equally. And then lastly, the occipital protuberance uh, here at the base of the head should also be bisected uh, equally. Uh, and again, you're just looking for what's normal in these bony landmarks and what's uh, abnormal. Thank you.